A little more than 60 years ago, eight Carmelite nuns traveled to Reno. They held one-way tickets in their hands and determination in their hearts. The sisters came in 1954 with the understanding that they would eventually build a monastery. The sisters came here from Indianapolis and they had a little house over on Virginia Street. It wasn't long before the sisters set their sights on a peaceful hillside in southwest Reno. They purchased this property here, started construction, I believe, in 1956. The monastery was completed in 1958, and that's where we are today. Early on, we had to find a way to bring in income to support the monastery, to build the monastery. The sisters received a donated press, and their print shop was born. They learned the craft of printing with the help from professionals. One of the first was Silver State Press. They had a huge um, commission from Harvey's up in, in Tahoe to do printing for their casino. And they had so much to do that they asked the sisters, could we borrow your press and let us print these brochures or tickets or, and things like that. And in return? People who were in the business came and taught them how to print. It just went on incrementally from that, and it's just amazing what the sisters were able to learn. You have to understand, they knew nothing about this, and yet they came and they learned. It was a, a real labor of love. It wasn't just like, well, we need to make money. It was like a total investment. From that investment blossomed creativity. Since the 1960s, many sisters have transformed their own paintings, drawings, and other works of art into greeting cards. It's just wonderful how creative they all are. We're just so blessed by the people who have come. Half a dozen sisters are actively creating new art that will be featured in this year's catalog. We come together and we choose what cards we want to use, what's going to look good on our brochure. We have really two seasonal times. We do about six cards in the spring that we call all occasional cards, where it's the birthday cards and the thank you cards and sympathy and healing. And then we have our Christmas cards. We want to have a, a lot of different styles because we certainly have learned that people have very different tastes. There are so many different designs and it's kind of fun to look at them and say, who did this? Does it match the person's personality or has the person really stretched and gone totally outside of their creative orbit <laughs> and done something um, that, that's different? Once those cards are chosen, they're processed, they're photographed and made into a, a digital image. We have Sister Maria who does all the setup and there's a lot to it. Maria does her magic with her computer and puts it through different programs and I don't know what all she does, but it comes out this beautiful picture. And once it's set on the computer, then it is sent to the press. Once it gets to the digital press, the card comes out. It's then taken to the cutter. We do big stacks of paper, cut down four times. And then it's sent to the folder and the cards are folded. And then they are sent to the packing room where they wait for the orders. The person who is making the invoice almost always writes a personal note on it. It's not just a job for us. We really believe that we want to be like everyone else who earns their living, who has to work. That's a really important part for us and it is what motivates us too. Like we're one with everybody. We're in solidarity with people. That feeling of solidarity is partly why the nuns at Carmel of Reno choose not to wear a habit. We don't look like the traditional Carmelite monastery. We try to live a really authentic life. And one of the things that I have found is that people really 
accept us very quickly for who we are and come to appreciate it. And the print shop helps the sisters to live an authentic life in a number of ways. It allows for each sister in their own way to create. We are producing something that we believe in. We're creating cards and messages that we know touch people. It enriches our lives very, very much. The benefits of the friendship and our connections with the people is beyond measure. It's the heart of why we do the print shop thing, I think, and what, what, it's what keeps us wanting to do it. it, it you know, the connection is very nourishing to each of us.